I'm Black Bright. If it's the first time you're visiting my channel, then welcome. Um, I talk about a variety of subjects, as you probably know by now, looking at my repertoire of videos and welcome on board. Um, today I wanted to talk about the 17 year old boy, um, a teenager. He was filming his teacher at school and he got kicked out. Um, basically he's been suspended for three weeks because he challenged the teacher when um, the teacher was saying there was more than one gender. Um, apparently it's an inclusive school, you cannot say that there's just two genders and it was in all the papers. The thing is, is that this boy secretly filmed the teacher um, having this discussion. And so that has now gone out and he's been disciplined. He's been disciplined based on that, using a camera without permission, more than his views, which, I mean, everybody's entitled to freedom of expression. And you would think in a school he would have the ability, even if the teacher doesn't agree, to kind of, you know, refute it or challenge it or, you know, use some kind of analysis and logic to answer the question. I don't think somebody, it should just be dismissed and people, you know, the guy told to keep that infant, that kind of comment to himself and at home. It shouldn't, it's not a place for the school. Um, so I thought I would talk about that because, you know, being quite old fashioned myself, I never thought there was anything other than two genders, male, female the X chromosomes and the Y chromosomes. That is what I grew up believing. I, you know, as you get older and as you research more, you realize it's not that straightforward. Um, they call it gender binary when you think about a male and a female, but out of that, there's supposed to be a lot of other um, identities within that. So, um, yeah, I decided I, I'll, I'll let you read out some of my notes because, you know, it's it's not as straightforward as we would think. OK, um, I've already told you about the background. It's a Scottish 17 year old secretly filmed his teacher on a smartphone as the two rowed over the existence of two genders and the definition of inclusivity. Um and I was wondering, like I said, do the students have the right of freedom of speech? Can he say, look, you know, it's not scientific. Um, there are two genders out of which we they have personal identities. You know, to me, because we don't know, do we? We don't know how why people are transgender, why they're agender, why they're cisgender. We don't know why that is. So it's very hard to explain. Some people say it's got to do with the brain, how the brain interprets who the individual are. And when a person cannot um, associate himself with his genitals or her genitals, it, they call it something else. So I don't know enough about it. So let me just read um, some notes. Um, Nearly everyone, but not everyone, has either the XY or the XX pair of sex chromosomes. This allows us to binarize most people, putting them into two categories. Gender binary involves two things, and the two is baseline male and female. But out of which other gender identities manifest? And you can kind of, you can kind of understand it on a level. Because when you think about um, all of the, those sperms that go in and some of them survive and some of them don't and some of them blend and some of them don't, we don't really know what happens to those those sperms, do we? We don't know if some of them merge. So it's not it's definitely not straightforward as we would like to think. Um, there are apparently 58 genders, but I'm only going to share a couple of them. Transgender, we're familiar with agender, androgyny, androgynous, bigender, cisgender. There's lots of them. I mean, if you want to know what the agenda, what the genders are, you can always Google it. I'm not going to go through 58 different types of genders. I just want you to get the gist of it. 
So was the teacher correct in sticking to his guns or should he have had an open debate with the student who has freedom of speech? Um, I should have really showed you the video, shouldn't I? Let me just see if I've got it here. I bet you I haven't. This isn't well planned because I'm rushing to see Love Island. But let me just see if I put it on here, which if I didn't, tough. No, I don't think I did, actually. So what you'll have to... Oh, I have, actually. Let me just show you this quickly. Oh, that was handy, wasn't it? A 17-year-old Scottish student claims he was kicked out of class after arguing that there are only two genders. He secretly filmed being told off by the teacher. I am stating what is national school authority policy. Okay? Not every policy is scientific, Murray. And you can't come out here and say that I'm not being inclusive when someone said I didn't you say you were, so I said what you were saying you was not being inclusive. You me out of class. I know what you think, and I know what the authority thinks. I know what the authority's point of view. Well, it's very things. clear, very clear that we make no discrimination on the grounds of various. I wasn't making discrimination. I'm simply saying there are two genders, male and female. Yeah. Anything I'm, else is a personal identification. I'm sorry, but you chose to make an issue of making a point which is contrary to policy. The local authority says the video does not show the full context of the exchange. Aberdeenshire Council added that it wants good relations between different groups in schools and an inclusive environment for all. So it is important. So I'm glad I found that quick enough so I didn't really disrupt this video. Um, yeah, so gender binary is the classification of gender into two distinct opposites and disconnected forms of masculine and feminine, whether by social system or cultural belief. Um, the argument is that there are two genders, male and female, but that there are people who have variations of both. Um, intersex people have male and female chromosomes, hormones and genitalia there's the science of brain gender i mean there's so much stuff isn't there yeah um science of brain gender brain gender is a book exploring the biological differences between sex and gender melissa hines demonstrates the possibilities that genetic biological Neuroendoctrine, behavioural, social and statistical aspects of born sex affect the differences between males and females in gender roles. In the simplest and most extreme cases, their bodies, particularly their genitals, do not correspond with what they feel is their true gender. So what is it that determines whether someone thinks of themselves as male or female or something else? either in between or neither. They claim it has to be the brain. But just because two people say X and Y does not mean that these chromosomes are genetically identical. The genes they carry can and do vary, says psychology today. So, it's an issue of right. Is the teacher right? Policy of the council is that you cannot say that there are only two genders. And if you think that, you need to confine your beliefs to the home. So that's what the teacher told the 17-year-old. Uh, pupil should have a right of free speech, freedom of expression. The pupil, whether you agree with him or not, was expressing that right in the classroom. School should be a place where ideas are expressed, challenged, refuted, critiqued. Supported and amplified. So um, it is it is difficult today because you know some. I mean, he's quite um, he's quite a senior person. So you know, if that they must be pretty rigid in that school not to exclude people. But I don't think that that student was excluding anyone. All he was saying is that. You know, there are people who are born male and female. Now, if I think it would be different if a male... But the thing is, when a child is born, the, the nurse will give it to you and say, oh, you've got a lovely baby boy or you've got a lovely baby girl, based on its genitalia. That is what a nurse will say. She's not going to say... 
oh, you've got a, well, I guess now they won't be able to say whether you've got a boy or a girl. I don't know. Because scientifically, that is how they determine what is a boy and what is a girl. And the fact that, you know, people's identities change as they're growing up and they decide to change their genitalia or change their identity. Does that refute what that boy is saying? Because I think that is what he's saying. He's saying that scientifically, there are only male and females. But out of, out of that, which is not scientifically conclusive at the moment, there are, are other identities. So I'll have to close with that because I don't know too much about it, but I thought I'd raise it as an issue. You might want to give your comments. I don't know. You might think it's absolutely ridiculous or you might say, well, there's a point in here and have your two pence worth. I'm very interested in it, actually, because I, I, you know, I'm pretty old school. I'm open to information and I'm open to learning. So that's all for now. Bye bye.